Hey guys, here again by Holy Innocence Church and School, which is at Ashford and St. Thomas. Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church, which was built in 1838 on lands given by the owners of Ashford Plantation and it was built in the shape of a cross. And this is Holy Innocence. Primary school. With the mural graphic on it that was done by Miss Joan Connell in 2005. I forgot to mention that this school was taught by some great teachers, such as the most outstanding one for this school was Miss Celeste Vaughan, who was the principal of Old Innocence Primary School back in the 1950s and 60s. And he was also the organist at Old Innocence Church. As well. And he was choir master here as well. So yes guys, this is the foundation for most of my family where they receive their primary education. My, my, uh, all back to my grandmother and great aunts and aunt, my first two aunts received their primary education here at Holy Innocence Church. At Holy Innocence Primary School. Again, I'm in the parish of St. Thomas in a place called Ashford. Ashford spelled A Y S H F O R D. And again, this is the road of Harrison Cave and Richmond Hall Valley. So, St. Thomas is known as the major parish, and it is also, yeah, but it is also the parish with more, the most gullies in it. They have Jack in the Box Gully, which is just down the road from here, below Ashford at Hortwell. And Russia Gully, which is at the other side of St. Thomas, closest to St. Joseph. We have Welch Mahal Gully, which is up the road here, which is a collapsed cave. And Welch Mahal Gully is a property of the Barbados National Trust, $12 per entry. And we are also in close proximity to Harrison Skiff. Again, this is the roof to Harrison Skiff and West Mahal Gully. The Harrison Skiff runs all underground here. That is why they say that when service is going on at the church, that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. When service is going on at Holy Innocence Church, the organ vibrates into the cave. Harrison's cave was founded in 1970 by Gaelic genealogist Olaf Sir and Barbadian Tony Mason, and together they dug their way through the cave with borders dropping down on your head and so on, along with Noel Pompey Boys, who is from this area, and also. So, Scarrington, who was also one of the first staff in the cave, and they all dug their way to the cave. And it was originally officially opened on the 28th of November 1981 by the Prime Minister of the day, Tom Adams, who was also the parliamentary rep representative for the parish of St. Thomas. Um, Harrison's Cave now has trams right into it, so you can this $46 per entry. When the government used to own it, it was $50. Now the government leased it to Chucker or, or sold it to Chucker from Jamaica. They, they, they reduced the price. The price reduced to $46 by bills. And they um, have a zip line now, along with a ram tour, a tour of a ram factory, a replica of a factory, Mount Gear factory in Barbados, Mount Gear ram factory.
do have the a setup a RSS cave. The RSS cave has more added to it now than it was before. And it will give you a ride to the cave. <clears throat> and they have stalactites and stalactites. And water drops on you. And they say that it is cave showers or showers of blessings. Water dropping on you. At the time, we're going to go to the cave. That's the little thing that you should visit it when, for yourself when you come to Barbados. So, this is along the route to Harrison's, Harrison's Cave and Richmond Hoggley. The two tourist attractions, natural sites along this, along this route. Richmond Hoggley and Harrison's Cave. So, this is called the Innocence Primary School once again. This school was taught by some great teachers. I forgot to mention that another long term teacher, well known teacher at this school, Miss Orsi Springer, passed away late last month, which was December. And she is to be laid to rest either this week or next week. She passed away at 99 years, and she was also from this area. And it was also. Then before, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was also a talk by I heard of a miss I heard of a, I was told of a Miss Holder and I know of Mr. Dash that used to teach here as well. Mr. Rapper Dash. That's all the innocent primary school. And the church here. So this is the exit from the church. Again, this pavement was placed here between late 2013 or early 2014. Right here where I'm standing was the church wall. The church walls will come all here on where this pavement is until they remove until they uh, pave the road and place the pavement here so that pedestrians will not have to walk too close in traffic. The place the pavement here started from the Holy Innocence Church and School all the way up to Harrison Cave. Anglican Episcopal Church at Ashford. Many people refer to this area as Welshman Hall, but Welshman Hall will be up the road further up. And this is Ashford.
Careful, that's all. Huh? Let's be careful. I can't go because. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. There's a cow here that is not tired, and this lady is fighting to pass the cow. She's afraid to pass the cow. It's true he's on time because when they first came here he was not here and all of a sudden he came out. I only hope he doesn't go up, run under anybody's vehicle or anything. So this is all Ashford, St. Thomas and St. George are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados in the center of the island best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. Thank you guys for watching now and do have a blessed evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah.